So, this week for our retro uh, check back on these old shows here, we watched the uh, WWE CW very first yes. episode. Head to head. Is this technically the first episode? It is on the network. It is on the network. So. Okay. It's not in reality. This is not, I don't this count is not it, ECW go. on sci fi. So, that's up this to you. This was a, uh, what was this on a Wednesday or a Tuesday? I feel like this was on Tuesday. I think it was on. The, I think it was on the day they aired it on Sci Fi. It's just which was Tuesdays, right? Yeah, I think so. So um, I thought so too. Yeah. So WWE CW, the very first show was June seventh, two thousand six. This was before they went to Sci Fi. This was before ECW no, this was on One a, Night this Stand. This was on a Wednesday for some okay. reason. Sorry, That's I don't perfect. know why I felt I needed. This. I think it was on um, USA. Yeah, it was. It was. Yes. They weren't on Sci Fi yeah. yet. This yes. went. This went sideways before it even got started, man. Yeah, um, you could tell immediately from this show that uh, whatever they had planned was not going to work, uh, especially when Kurt Angle said, see ya, because <laughs> um, well, Kurt was then, a big like, part of this. From the rip, they were already burying it, like Orton's promos were burying it, like saying like this was Little League, like Jerry Luller in every fucking second would mm-hmm. say this was like the nothing show, like why watch this? Like, it's like, yeah. from the rip, they were fucking ripping on it, but like... It's shocking. Honestly, how how long did WWE CW last for? Um, two thousand. Didn't it go to like twenty ten? Was it, it went tw- all the way until NXT, right? And then like oh, the, yeah, was uh, NXT the reality nine, show. Then? Which yeah. which SVR okay. twenty ten had ECW in it, right? Oh eight was S- SVR. SVR yeah. the GM mode one was SVR eight. SVR yeah, 09. but I'm trying to remember if twenty ten had ECW. ECW as well. Yeah. So it was twenty. It was twenty ten. Uh, the last episode was February sixteenth, twenty ten. Okay, um, so that, again, that's what's like four years. I feel like that's like a lot longer than it should have went. Yeah. So um, the theme song for WWE CW, um, in the beginning at least, was let the bodies at the floor. Let the bodies at the floor. But the they problem here <laughs> is that they edited it out. But sometimes. they also didn't edit it out. Sometimes they just left it in. It's very weird, hit or miss here. Like when uh, they were talking the about the pay per view, they left it in, but the show itself didn't have it. And uh, the guys that they had at the time uh, was an interesting group because uh, yeah. I don't think Vince liked any of them. <laughs> <laughs> he did like Sabu, though. He did like Sabu. I could see Vince liking Sandman, too, honestly. <laughs> yeah, Sandman was actually not in bad shape. He was in pretty bad shape for One Night Stand 2005, but by the time 2006 and like his run on ECW, he was in yeah. probably the mm-hmm. best shape he's ever been in. Um, yeah. So I could at least go, you know, respect in that regard. And it looked like he was actually trying to get better at wrestling too, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah. So, anyways, uh, as you guys know, One Night Stand 2006 went well, but it didn't get well received as 2005 did. Um, and this show, as you can see here, was uh, a mixed bag of Vince McMahon and Paul Heyman clashing before it even got started. So yeah, <laughs> there was very much, much so Paul Heyman inspired stuff on the show, like RVD versus yeah. Rey Mysterio. Uh, and then there was also very much WWE stuff, which we saw in the Battle Royale later on. Like the women getting on. two minutes. Yeah, the women getting two minutes. Tatanka, for some reason, was here. <laughs> I, you know, there was I a... do not remember Tatanka <laughs> he was just, WWE. Yeah, he was just on SmackDown, like, doing stuff. I forget what he did. I don't know if he turned heel on. I remember there was a... I don't know why I remember this. There was, like, a WWE.com interview with Tatanka. I feel like he had just turned heel or something, and he was just, like, going off. I... I don't know if anyone can find this. Please send it to me. I forgot what it was. I feel like it may have been a Brett Lauderdale article too. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> Which is even funnier. So I, if anyone can find that, let me know. So we uh, kick off this very first, they call it, I guess, the WWE versus ECW extravaganza is the way that they were branding head it. Head to head. Head to head. Um, it kicks Which off. Is- what were you saying? I was going to say, which is very weird to put them on. Like, they're putting ECW on the same level. Like, Yeah, it's a as... WWE show, but like Raw and SmackDown are a cohesive unit, and fuck ECW. Yeah, Raw and SmackDown had to combine to beat Balls Mahoney and Lil <laughs> Guido. And <Nunzio>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that we had the same idea for who's the <laughs> top dogs in ECW. That's yeah. good. Balls Mahoney, Nunzio. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the guys. Tommy Dreamer, man. So the show kicks off. We have Raw and SmackDown in a room getting a rally call from Mick Foley, which you would think he'd be on the ECW side, but Mick Foley is a whore and a sellout as they (laughs) continually call him on commentary throughout the evening. Um, ECW is in another room getting a rally call from Paul Heyman, who is in full weirdo pervert mode here with the jacket. Full jacket. Yeah. (laughs) It's 100 degrees inside this building and he just doesn't care. (laughs) 
Um, you can tell Sandman was sick of chain ECW by the yeah. end. Yeah, <laughs> everyone <too>. was. <laughs> um, <laughs> was. Way too long. But it was re- because it was it was cool here because we got to see Terry Funk back in WWE. Um, yeah. And he was only there for this show specifically and one night stand in 2006. Night stand. Yeah, I was gonna say because he does he's gone after that, right? Yeah, he was only here for these two shows. Because he and he wasn't on the first one night stand because that was the same weekend as. Uh, uh, hardcore Homecoming, and he chose yeah. to do Hardcore Homecoming over One Night Stand. Maybe in retrospect, <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I think um, it, was, it was him, him, uh, him, Shane Douglas, and Sabu. Maybe One Night Stand 2005 was special. Like it was, it very, was amazing. It's very yeah. much a Pauly production. And 2006, I wish- maybe not so much. There's definitely guys like I wish Raven was on the first one. I wish fucking Funk was on the first one. Like yeah. there's obviously guys that were missing. Thankfully, like Rhino was on it, even though Rhino and the Dudleys were in TNA, but they still did the show. I cannot, um, I cannot, I can't believe they couldn't convince Masato Tanaka to sign for even a small bit of time here, especially yeah, after the match know. with Awesome in 2005. Oh my god! I know they. Which should've. is the match that like even like you know they had the you know WWE Invaders on the you know on the the. The, like the they crowd, it. but like they were even losing their shit. Like yeah, JBL was losing crazy. his fucking mind for this match, bro. Like, <laughs> and it's crazy. I mean, you know, this we was to, we need to knock. We need to Donka. That's what <laughs> he said. He said, he, said, he, said, he said, "Sign the Donka." He said, "All right." <laughs> oh god! Well, oh my sign. god! What if that's what <laughs> that happened? Probably I actually, I, I that's it, probably should, actually what happened. Dude. <laughs> you should sign that to knock him. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll go sign to Donka. <laughs> Wow, dude. <laughs> That's not crazy. Is it well, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. That's the true story of what That's, happened. I believe that now. Vince wanted Tanaka. Got Tatanka. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fucking Johnny Ace. You That's bastard. insane. This was 14 years ago. And uh, oh, Masato, wow. Masato Tanaka is still wrestling. He still looks exactly the same yeah. as he did He's in insane. 2005. He's still He's taking chair shots to the head. Yeah. so insane. He, uh, he just had a match with Matthew Justice in Japan like a couple months ago, right? Yeah, dude. He's had at least two matches of the year candidates yeah. in the past. And we've only had, you know, we only been wrestling for like two months out of the you know six months we've been yeah. here so far. So um, that's, yeah, I cannot believe they did not, well, you know, maybe they tried, but I oh, can't believe. Well, sorry. <laughs> I know that. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that we kind of figured that out. Um, <laughs> so this idea for this show is good in theory, right? Because ECW is like the rebel yes. um, or going head to head. It makes sense. If anything, it helps ECW because this is the exact environment that made ECW popular. Like this should obviously work. Um, yes. You know, Raw's got their regular stage. ECW's got the little door on the right hand side uh, that they come through, which is pretty. It was honestly, it's a cool little setup they got. Um, makes ECW look a little more. Uh, grungy which obviously works in their yeah. favor yes um even though you can very much tell like it, it's really difficult to get into the idea of ecw when it's being run also by <laughs> wwe it's i don't know that, like it's yeah. a really weird uh concept it is fucking um weird. and you can tell throughout the show that that they the well the well, commentary they... fucking absolutely oh, is yeah. just a disaster on this fucking show dude yeah they when played... they finally start running oh sorry i was gonna say when they finally started running the wwe ecw shows like the first ones with Heyman, you could tell he really had direction that seemed a little bit more ECW-esque. well they well they definitely like even then they were still like they had the fucking zombie on the first episode yeah, I, I, ruled. I, don't I feel, feel like it was like a back and forth, and then Heyman gave up about probably right, before yeah. the first pay per view. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, December to December is like a whole. That was a total that's give a up. Whole another, yeah. I heard Heyman was like depressed after that. Like you'd like that was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I heard Wouldn't like you he be? Was, heard, Yeah, I heard he was like really upset. Um, so like we said about commentary, it was a clusterfuck. They had Jr. and Lawler. Joey Styles and Taz, they were at different yeah. desks, but they both, they all had the same feed. So they were all yeah, on they were at the same time. Back and fucking forth. Like they did like three different segments on the show where Taz and Jerry Lawler are like, are about to get into it. <laughs> like, uh, I was watching it with fucking, I was watching it with Deb and she's like, is Taz wearing the same outfit that he did on AEW? <laughs> I was like, holy fuck, I think he is. Dobby <laughs> Allen. <laughs> I was fired up about Dobby. Dobby, I could, I could, Dobby, I could teach you how to not lose. 
<laughs> I love how he's just Darby. bullying him Why on AEW. Suck, <laughs> yeah, he's just like, Dobby, you bitch. All right. Dude. Dobby's like, please you... stop harassing me backstage. No, I mean, man. I like that I like that Taz is us and saying, how the fuck did you lose Yeah, this yeah, that's true. <laughs> he's like, that is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> So commentaries overlapped each other the entire night. Of course, they're building up a commentary feud because they wanted to make sure that uh, One Night Stand 2006 was nowhere near as good as 2005. So they were building... <laughs> <laughs> they got to get that Taz Waller match Vince has to make sure... <laughs> yeah, yeah, Vince has to make Fuck sure it. <laughs> that it doesn't hit as good as it like did how, the first time. I like how Styles at one point is like, I quit that shitty show Monday Night Raw. Dude, Taz says at one point, he says, it's a miracle I'm not over there beating your ass, Lawler. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck, that's hot. Yeah, the, uh, so they're building Taz and Lawler for this for this one-night stand. Uh, of course, they do have the matches. The very first thing they do in the evening, I believe, uh, it was yeah. awful. Uh, so Joey Styles... A minute long. Yeah, Joey Styles jumps Jerry Lawler, which then, of course, lets Taz do the Taz mission. This is on one-night stand for people. That yeah, one-night stand 2006. Yeah. Um, yeah. Taz obviously just could not be asked to bump or do anything. Jerry Lawler very yeah. much so could wrestle in 2006. So like Dude, we saw him at GCW. And he yeah, and he worked a match uh, like for 15 minutes against Mancer. So like he definitely could work forever. Um especially in 2006 he could work. So like that was very much on Taz uh who just I don't think he was in ring shape, he just didn't want to do it. So um that ended up being awful and it bogged down this show so much oh my god they comment they i mean during the women's match so they didn't shut too. up yeah it was just like oh my god dun, dun, dun. Dude, I, I at one point i i popped really hard though when they're arguing back and forth because taz yells at wait, who's he yelling at i think he was yelling was at lawler at lawler probably and he's like watch the product and i was like oh because <laughs> it, oh, it, it, it was joey joey styles was i think yelled that at him because oh, they were he? talking about they, they said oh you got a leprechaun on the show and lawler's like what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, you got a fucking leprechaun on SmackDown. You don't watch the product? <laughs> when I heard watch the product, I popped so yeah. hard. I'm like, yes, they did the thing. They did the thing. They said the line. <laughs> so uh, we kick off the show. We have Rey Mysterio, who's a world's champion. Uh, and he's facing off against Rob Van Dam, who's getting a mega push at this point because he's a huge yeah, part of ECW. Bro. And Rob just ruled at this point. He was really, and he's really good. he's all up like crazy. Yeah, he's in fantastic shape. After his um, Money in the Bank win, right? Yeah. No briefcase though. Why? No briefcase. Yeah. Because he already um, cashed. He already it cashed in. it in. Yeah. He already said he was going to have the match with John Cena. Oh, uh, I guess. Game. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So, um, raise the world champion at this point. Um, it. I mean, the match was fun. I, RVD got most of his shit in. I mean, like he did his thing. You know, what I mean, this is very much a hey, RVD is going to be the guy. Like this is yeah. this is what he does. I'll, I'll def. I'll tell you that if if Ray was holding the WWE title, not the World title, he would have been losing this match. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, damn, they kind of like like let Mysterio kind of get shit on here. Um, yeah. But that's, he did- that kind of that's kind of Ray's whole run though. He kind of got shit on, you know, when he had that <laughs> that's title. That's true. Yeah, the sign in the crowd that I showed it like many times on the show. It's a big sign. It said Batista returns in thirty days. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, it really spoilers, cool. bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, dude. <laughs> There was also, um, um, they did this, they did a, so I guess all these matches were no DQ. I this assume so, yeah. This was not. This was. It, it wasn't booked as Extreme Rules. They had a. Uh, they did chair spots in this, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah but they actually, they actually had it, like, the the Edge and Tommy Dreamer, and then the main event was ECW Rules. The rest of them weren't actually written as ECW Rules, but I'm sure the ref just, yeah. whatever. They definitely didn't DQ, yeah. Yeah, no. no for RVD sure. did like the running dropkick with the chair. They did a thing where Mysterio did a fucking bulldog off the second onto RVD uh, on a chair, which like there was like people losing their minds over this spot. I was like, oh shit, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it's cool to see people like still freaking out of those spots. Yeah, uh, Mysterio missed like a springboard leg drop on a chair. I was like, oh, I probably fucking sucked. <laughs> I was surprised he didn't do the Van Terminator. Yeah, he didn't do the Van Daminator either. Yeah, come on, bro, get your uh, Van moves he- in. He did. <laughs> he did win with the uh, the five star frog splash though. To- <laughs> yeah, and Ray said, "I'm not taking that chair." <laughs> he moved <laughs> yeah, he out of the said, way yeah. at the last second. Oh, yeah, he throws yeah, he that fuck chair. That shit. You forgot about the part where Ray just dives into the front row. Doesn't even care about the fans. They don't even push him out of the way. Ray's like seventy pounds. Is all right. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Van Dam missed the drop. Uh, yeah, he the, missed the, the leg, leg drop. drop, and then RVD, and then uh, Ray goes up to the top, like springboard off, oh, and shit. then just out into the crowd with real fans or yeah, whatever. Ray's, just like Ray was awesome, chilling. man. Ray yeah. like. This was really good, Ray. Too. It wasn't. Yeah, I still. Was, whenever I think of Ray, I still think of him with the cruiserweight title and jumping out the floor. Um, but what had in the, Ray in the gold? 
So here comes the pain gear. Yeah, that's exactly what I think yeah, of, absolutely. honestly. Absolutely, yeah. Um, we obviously know that Rob goes on after this to beat John Cena. After the match, he uh, shakes. <laughs> it was that's what I was saying. It was really weird because Ray's the world's champion at this point. They couldn't make it any more obvious that this title doesn't matter. Yeah, he jabroni him. Yeah, he jabroni him. He said, job, "Yeah, kid. he's pretty good. Look at him. He's <laughs> he's all right." <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, we know Rob it, goes on to beat John Cena at One Night Stand 2006. Yes. Uh, which then is like, he drops God, the title. What a, what a fucking match, dude! What a, um, that match is so fucking good. It, uh, <laughs> I mean, John, the it couldn't have the crowd made that match. Absolutely, I mean, they absolutely that's why it's an, it's an all timer because of like the environment. Yeah. yeah, John Cena walking in with his head down is like, and the title up, head down yeah. with the hat down, like, oh, and then fuck, they throw the shirt back so for fifteen sick. minutes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Everside was not having it. It was um, also with a great fucking Randy Orton entrance on this show, on that show too. And yeah, his exit too. Yeah, it's just all. Oh, see, uh, Ar- <laughs> Arvidi wins this, and then they cut to the backstage with the ECW locker room, flipping the fuck out. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> ECW, ECW, yeah, ECW, yeah, ECW, 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 ECW. Al Snow throwing head around like he's crazy. yeah, yeah. This is cool. Um. Of course, afterwards, uh, we get a little bit of Kurt Angle, who is going to be a big ECW guy. Um, or he was going to be. Yeah, He's yeah, the was, new yeah. breed unleashed, is Kurt <laughs> Angle. <laughs> I can't believe they got Kurt to throw this into it. I was like, okay, I guess. All right. Was this the only time Kurt had in-ring pyro like that? Because that threw me off. Because obviously he came through the ECW entrance, but like yeah. he had the in-ring pew, 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 pew. I, yeah, I guess because he came out the door. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, he came out the little brick house. <laughs> um, I love that Kurt has his ECW theme. I love this theme. Because one, I don't have to I hear was, the you I, suck I, shit. I wasn't, I wasn't big into this theme, actually. Nah, I loved it, man. Because one, I thought uh, it was cool, yeah, I love it. Because I don't have to hear the you suck shit, and I thought the remix w- was super dope. Um, just it was, it was just a super nice change at the time for Kurt. Um, I love and, the mouth he, guard, man. Yeah, the mouth guard with the theme and like the and and in 2006 when he was the, I think he, I'm pretty sure he was the world champion in 2006, and he had the, um, he had the black attire at one point. That was so dope. Um, yeah. He was awesome. Did Kurt win a battle royal in 06 to win the title? Was it like vacated or something? I think um, he did at one point. Was like Kali champ or some shit? I know Kali won the battle royal to win the title at one Kali, point. Oh yeah, maybe that's what I'm thinking. I feel like Kurt did too. Is that the one I where he held like it upside Smackdown down? Smackdown had a... Maybe, yeah. I think it was like... <laughs> I feel like it was a couple instances in 2006 where like the title got vacated for some fucking reason and they did a battle royal for it. That well, sounds right. Uh, at this point, Kurt's got the violence mouth guard, which is his best, best so one easy. Sick. Um, he had He had another one, I think. Um, that said machine. That one was nowhere near as good yeah, as the violence no. one. But and he makes sure he had, to he show it too. too. I'm pretty sure he makes sure to show that violence mouth guard too. Um, that yeah. ruled. Um, I mean, this has got to be one of the hardest wrestling looks of all time. I mean, Angle here is like pr- peak, like just physical shape. Gags, the mouth guard. Yeah. Um, the his gear. Attire. Yeah, his gear is all time here. Yeah. He has pyro How in long? the ring. They're not chanting "You suck." I mean, like this is yeah. like an all time look for me. How long did it take for him to go to TNA after this? So Angle leaves in August, um, which is... So two months. Yeah, he leaves almost immediately. Yeah, he doesn't really do anything after uh, the Randy Orton match at the pay-per-view. Do you think if he would have stayed in ECW, like, could have succeeded? No. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. They probably just no, traded him back to Raw or something. Absolutely. Yeah. There was no fucking yeah. saving this show. Like, yeah, they de- Kurt definitely would have bounced eventually like yeah uh, there was it was i mean there was so like you could have put a lot of people on this fucking show and not, like it mm-hmm. was just regardless it was gonna be a shit fest. just a clash man not much you could do kurt angle in this promo says he loved hearing randy orton squeal like a pig <laughs> no <piggy. laughs> kind of cool yeah and then orton interrupts and just fucking buries ecw because that's what you do uh and he, the big insult Randy Orton here had for the ECW faithful, he said that he made fun of people for liking hardcore porn. That's what <laughs> I popped for. They're like, yeah, we yeah. love porn. Yeah, like what? This like, is an interesting that, promo, yeah. That was, just shows, I guess, how different shit was ECW then. ECW like, loves porn, yeah. Oh, well, because he just started people. going straight into porn. It was like, <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Well, so, WWE was blockbuster movies, and ECW is hardcore porn. Yeah, what Dude, the hell? How many, t- how many times did they call him ECW's Kurt Angle in his fucking promo? So I feel like they did it a hundred times. A new Kurt breed, Angle, at least. <laughs> Randy called him it ECW's goddamn Kurt Angle. They had so um, many lines for them to go in uh, that oh, Randy know, just dude. forgot what was going on towards the end. I of think it. so too. Yeah. 
<laughs> he just started talking, and Kurt's like, what the hell are you talking about? And yeah, like, Kurt said, know. listen to me, you snot-nosed punk. And then Orrin said, no, you listen to me, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they would just start cursing at each yeah. other. No, this is ECW's Kurt Angle. ECW's Kurt Angle doesn't take shit. This promo felt forever, too, once Orton started talking. This is Orton this fresh stop. off a 60-day weed suspension. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, this is peak... I just don't give a fuck about yeah, anything. He, shit. Uh, he was a cool motherfucker. Yeah, though. he was young. He was starting to accumulate the tattoos. Yeah, burning yeah. my apparently light. Was, apparently, he just like he was on SmackDown, but here he just says he's on Raw. So like now he's just on Raw. Apparently, yeah. Like, he said he came back and got drafted to Raw or whatever. <laughs> yeah, because um, this was was this ECW. after the Taker feud then when his dad had the hepatitis. Yeah, I guess so because the last thing okay. that before he left was Kurt Angle beat the living. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he talks about uh hardcore porn and sex, and Kurt yeah, Angle is, is very confused. Kurt Angle, Ray Norton, just like softcore baby, he wants to see just gyrations and <laughs> and titties. <laughs> some weird, some weird stuff. And the promo towards the end goes out of control. Kurt's trying to figure out what's going on. He's trying to tell Randy to hurry it up, and like Randy finishes it up. <laughs> Kurt versus suppose. Randy is at uh, One Night Stand, uh, 2006, yeah. which it was okay. Um, Kurt, it was, it was good. Again, it's the crowd, you know. It was fine. Kurt beat Randy. Um, the only thing I can remember is the pussy chant. And it's funny because I, I watched pussy. this match recently. I watched it like a few weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and I still can't remember it. So, like, it was just like no. Kurt Angle. Like, the run, this this was very much solidifying Angle as the machine, right? So, like, he would just sit on dudes, um, literally yeah. just sit on them. And you know, Orton is... Is Orton and Orton, yeah, Orton it does not work underneath like that. <laughs> so like, nah. yeah, Orton, yeah. Or, all Orton's best matches, he's working on top, all of them. Yeah. Um, the only thing, like I said, I can remember is pussy, and like, <laughs> and this is after the match. Like Orton's like lost, Kurt Angle's celebrating or whatever. Uh, Orton's getting carried away at the end by a couple of guys because he's beat the up after the match. Yell it at him, pussy, and he turns around. <laughs> he turns around after the match, and he's like trying to stop the guys from carrying him. He turns around, and he goes. No, my fans, as they're chanting, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> That's also the entrance where the kid punches him in the shoulder and he looks at him. Yeah, like he turns around. Crack him. <laughs> yeah, this was like peak Randy Orton's just here to, you know. He's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's thinking about sex check, all the baby. time, baby. You know what yeah. I mean? This is going crazy. Yeah, he's watching him HBO softcore. Talk. Yeah, he's going nuts. <laughs> uh, so after we have Kurt Angle and Orton talk about sex, we have Mickey James and Jazz. Jazz's um, team went so hard, bro. That dude, this is probably Jazz's best look, I think, that yeah, she probably she had. Was cool. Sadly, they only had two fucking minutes, and Mickey James was uh, women's champion, so she wasn't going to fucking lose, but she... Love of my life, my there heart. Was, there was nothing <laughs> here. There was nothing here at all. No, I was they surprised. Just, they, they didn't even like, they did give stuff. it a chance. I'm like, I'm like, wow, no. they really did do this shit they said, all the way there. into 2006. I told them, I was like, this is going to go two minutes, and two minutes later, Mickey, DDT, and one, two, three. Mickey almost kills Jazz with a fucking that DDT. By the way, oh yeah, that was crazy. That's a hard move yeah. to. T- that's a hard move to take. It like is, it's it literally like... just. Is none of it's Mickey. <laughs> none no, of it. Yeah, exactly. it's all <laughs> yeah. base. It's a hundred percent base. It's yeah. just jazz spiking yeah. yourself. Yeah, I mean, like that's yeah. whatever. That's the whole move in general. Which is I, yeah. that move. It's a cool move. But, it's just yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So jazz has to fucking pick Mickey up and then spike her head in him. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, that's yeah. a lot. I mean, yeah, if you're asking me to take that, I better get something in this match. And I like, and I feel like jazz didn't get anything here. So it's like. Uh, no. Okay, I mean, like, if I'm taking that move, she I'm definitely, I'm get. definitely getting something in on you. Um, yeah. I think if Jazz was around right now with this look and the way that she acted, she would be super over. She'd probably be the most they over could person have around her right way now. Way fucking better, but I guess I mean you could say that about all the women that. Were I mean, like Jazz is still wrestling around. right now, but I mean, like, if she was like, is she? I thought she retired. No, she's she still wrestles on it. She wrestles on okay. pro wrestling Eve and stuff. Okay. Um, she faced uh, Mesa Ruga like. Four or five months ago, I think. Okay. Yeah, so I, I watched that one. That was actually really good. Um, but I like, believe. yeah, if Jazz was still like, if she was, if you took her right now, shifted her fourteen years to right now, she'd easily be the champion and, and be the top. I'm pretty sure. sure she'd be the top person right now. Yeah. Um, she was awesome. Um, Mickey was awesome too. I mean, just this era didn't care about him. So no, that's just how it is. Um, John Cena's backstage after this match. Uh, he cuts a promo about his match with Sabu tonight, which is the main event. 
This promo was weird. Oh, they they did. Uh, speaking of building up Sabu, they did show a Sabu hype video uh, before this match. It was pretty dope. Obviously. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was it was, a, it was actually a good video, and obviously hyping up. Uh, it, it's still weird to me. Like, obviously, we've seen a lot of like weird fucking matches over the years. Like, of matches like, oh, you never thought you'd see this, especially yeah. like guys coming from TNA and all. But like, mm-hmm. I I still can't believe John Cena and, and Sabu. I feel like they had two, they had like two or three matches, and like. It's fucking weird to me. Didn't they have a match on Raw at one point? They did. It was like pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Savage one of those guys too a, uh, that you won't see a lot of anymore. Did they have anymore. a pay-per-view match? Or was that the Raw match I'm thinking they of? They might have had a match at, the pay- at a pay-per-view too. Yeah, something, but like, yeah. Yeah, again, Sabu is a guy like... They had a match at Vengeance. Vengeance That's 2006. That's what I'm thinking of. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And I think Sabu does the fucking crazy like springboard... To the, yeah, he the does the springboard table. leg drop thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that it's fucking crazy. I cre- remember that. How, like, that's fucking insane that John Cena and Sabu had a match that's so fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. But it ruled. He would have had a um, lot of matches like that, but... Yeah. I This Cena promo felt weird to me. I feel like this is like an in-between phase of Cena where he was trying to figure out what this new character is. Yeah, he name drops a bunch like, of guys. He's, he, he ends it with, Ooh, rah! <laughs> don't, forget, don't forget the salute. <laughs> Fuck yeah, the salute too. Yeah, so, Todd Grisham was the interview man, by the way. Yeah, they uh, so he name drops a bunch of guys. Bruno San Martino, no reaction, no one cares. They he, he says the immortal Hulk Hogan gets massive booze. <laughs> they did boom, yeah. And then he says Stone Cold Steve Austin, everybody bl- loses their mind. Hell yeah. So interesting uh, group of fans here in this arena. Uh, then you, oh, this is Ohio, that's right. Yeah. Then yeah, the promo ends with Oorah. In a salute. Because <laughs> Cena, right. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, he just shifted like real quick from rapper to... Yeah, just yeah. trying to figure it out. Yeah. Um, camo hat Cena is definitely an interesting one. One that I remember quite fondly for whatever reason. I think yeah. that's because this was right... This is like right before he really goes like super good guy. Like he's still... Well, just before the Edge feud, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So after... That's right, because uh, Edge fucks him over at the pay-per-view. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, that yeah. is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so after that, we have Paul E., who comes out and cuts a promo about ECW on Sci-Fi. There's a new breed unleash if you haven't heard. If you didn't know, <laughs> there yeah, is. Well, they had him come out and advertise this, and they also had him run down the pay-per-view card in front of the live audience. Like, audience. I was like, he, they're really... they Are they really... like? I, are they worried that this show's going to suck and like no one's going to buy it? Because like, they're really pushing this hard right now. Yeah, I mean, I guess they wanted, a good, they wanted it to... I guess. He's, he's like, if you're not already going to buy this pay-per-view, let me sell you on it, and here's yeah. the whole pay-per-view they card. Run the card and, they're like, and he was like, hey, if you haven't seen the last one, here's a fucking recap of it, too. All right, cool. This was sponsored by X-Men, the video game. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you that. I didn't know that game existed. Yeah, did either of you play that game? No, no I don't think Yeah, did. I don't, I don't I think, think anyone it did. was on GameCube. That's cool. Um, so after that, Big Show cuts a promo, and he says... Big Show, this is very much so obvious. <laughs> Big yeah. Show uh, cuts a promo. He goes, I fucking emptied the tank for WWE. There ain't nothing that makes me more I happy than WWE. This place. Oh my God, my brothers, we're going to get together. We're going to destroy Balls Mahoney and Nunzio tonight. Like, yeah. yeah, so like he cuts he says, a big. You know, we talk about the, the raw side. And he goes, uh, of course. And then you can't forget about And then Finley says, SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck, Finley? Shut Finley, up, bro. Finley is I'm like 50 years old. <laughs> it's 50 years <laughs> old at this point. Yeah, that was another run. Like, cool run, but also very confusing on, like, I, like it doesn't seem like something Vince would do, like, have a run like no. that. No. I still um, like him and him and Dave Finley in that fucking ladder match with like Eminem and Brian and Kendrick. Finley and was Paul London. bump and bump. I, yeah, like I yeah. like yeah, he was awesome. Wait, no, that was, wait, that that was was that Finley or was that Regal? I'm thinking of Regal had the 2008 Regal? run where he was yeah. king of the ring. That, you might be it, thinking of Regal. And was Dave it Regal Taylor? and Dave Taylor? That's what I was thinking of. What the yeah, fuck? Did, yeah. Okay, I mixed that up. No, but Finley years. was in the money in money in the bank. He money, money that's money in the bank yeah. I'm thinking of that's right yes. and he was in bumping, battle yeah. though later Finley throws some stiff clothes on dude, yeah, he Finley fucking, like, beat the fuck like out of dudes the, it looks like it hurts from the walk down the fucking ramp though <laughs> yeah uh, so we have the battle royale which is uh, ECW versus WWE oh, they, also, they also had Kurt rallying the troops in the ECW locker room <laughs> because, he just for go, another he, fucking ECW chant for 10 fucking minutes he just sat in the room and said yeah, <laughs> that's what he fucking did. He really did. He did say that. So, and Big Show says you will never expect what's going to happen tonight. <laughs> okay, yeah, good show, I, what, something's going to happen. Get ready for something. <laughs> <laughs> Raw um, SmackDown won't know what's coming, or ECW yeah. won't know what's coming. Okay, yeah. good one. 
So we have the ECW versus WWE Battle Royale uh, for brand supremacy. There's no nothing else. The fuck does just that, that mean? Just the brand supremacy Bro. here. Who's, <laughs> even Lillian always... Garcia, who announces it, says this is for uh, the brands. <laughs> <laughs> the winner is also a brand. Yes. Whoever wins this is cool. Uh, Tatanka's I mean... here, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the entrance, too. Yay! Dude, all the <laughs> WWE guys got their entrances, and they said, "All right, ECW, come on out." Yep. <laughs> just, oh, did you notice? Did you notice they didn't like the comment? Like Taz and Styles didn't know because, like, because uh, Taz was saying, "Oh yeah, look, they're coming out there as a, they're they're like a unit, they're a team." Or was yeah. it Styles that said that? And then Taz was like, "Why don't they get their own entrances?" It's bullshit. <laughs> I thought, I, honestly, I thought it was cooler that they came out together. But yeah, I, mean, was... I mean, they definitely jabroni them because they didn't want to queue up little Guido's music. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's absolutely what it was. <laughs> so Edge comes out and uh, I don't know, man. So like I was thinking about it when I saw Edge come out. And like if you were to ask somebody at this point in 2006, like if they were like young, like 14, yeah. 15. Yeah. You know, like, all right, build a wrestler. I feel like they build Edge. <laughs> like I just you look at Either this game at this Orton, point. Right? Like, um, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like Edge is like. Was the prototype wrestler? Yeah, mm-hmm. this was uh, this was yeah. a lot of guys' favorite guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this yeah. was this yeah, was a absolutely. very good time for Edge. Yeah. Um, in contrast, on the ECW side, Tommy Dreamer wrestled in sweatpants <laughs> with a tucked in coming. tucked in T-shirt. <laughs> this fucking dude, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> You got, you got. Listen, Edge. bro. I'm just, this motherfucker was going through a lot, man. Like just like five years ago, he wanted to come out of WrestleMania 17 and fucking <laughs> kill Paul Heyman and kill himself. <laughs> of course, he's gonna wear these pants with his t-shirt yeah, tucked leave in. Alone, of course. Bro. So we get to the match. Um, Mark Henry gets eliminated by Lil Guido first, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> Dude, fucking at one point, Terry Funk grabs Justin Incredible by the shirt, and Terry, Justin Incredible has to beg him not to beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well, we're on the same team. Terry Funk didn't give a fuck. Oh, yeah, bro. He's about right. to kill like, he's everybody. About to throw some punches oh, Terry Funk sweet. was on one on this show, bro. Yeah, he was. Um, so we get to the Battle Royal. Literally, all the ECW guys get eliminated except for Kurt Angle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sam well, Man, Sam 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 Man yeah, eliminates yeah. Carlito with a drop kick. I thought it was pretty crazy. No, nah, I mean uh, the last the last guys were three WWE guys and Kurt Angle. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. In the end, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's also, literally all that was. So fucking. Uh, so, uh, the, so Edge is on the outside of the ring this whole fucking match, like just yeah. trying to do nothing, which uh, I don't blame him. Uh, he like yanks Tom, uh, Tony Mamaluke out of the ring, like, and Tony Mamaluke, I feel like, almost blows his fucking legs out on this elimination. <laughs> it was disgusting. But yeah, as Paul said, it comes down to like, it was like Big Show, Edge, Orton, and Kurt Angle, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, an angle. Uh, eliminates uh, so Edge just gets in. He doesn't fuck it. He's trying to spear Kurt Angle. Uh, Angle chucks that motherfucker over the top rope. So it's down to Big Show, Randy Orton, and Kurt Angle. What is he gonna do? He's gonna get eliminated. Is what he's gonna fucking do. Randy Orton eliminates <laughs> Kurt Angle, and of course that's it. Raw wins. WWE wins. Brand supremacy. Oh no no no! Big Show rips off his shirt, his little Raw shirt, ECW underneath. <laughs> he fucking goozles Randy Orton, who's like, "What the fuck?" Choke slam, throws him over. ECW wins, and no one had a goddamn clue on the ECW side. <laughs> it looked I like Kurt was like, "What the fuck?" Kurt seems so confused. This is not how this works. You can't, <laughs> you can't just rip your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> like it, so that's that. not how this works. That's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna rip off my shirt. I'm in WWE now. <laughs> I'm just gonna be on the winning team. <laughs> I'm just gonna wear all the shirts underneath, and whatever one wins, that's the shirt I'm wearing. Did you? Did you guys pay attention to Big Show in this match? Because he did nothing the entire time. He did time, so but much nothing. The, he just stood in the corner the entire time. He was time. so sweaty though. That Kurt Angle is so Angle, 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 angle slam <laughs> with the angle oh, slam. Oh, yeah, he did. He did angle. I forgot about he that. Did. Yeah, too. He hit him with it. <laughs> the new breed unleashed. This is ECW's Kurt Why Angle. Why the fuck didn't they have this plan? <laughs> Why didn't Kurt know? <laughs> it was a ruse, man. <laughs> it was a rib on Kurt. He said, I'll make you with this angle slam for no reason. Big Kurt Show Angle and uh, Big Show celebrating the ring, as they say, the new breed unleashed. Which makes no fucking Kurt Angle, sense. Kurt like gives him the hug and wraps his legs around him and like, yeah, you see Tommy, you see Tommy. <laughs> well, like, this makes any sense. There's no new breed. <laughs> it's Kurt Angle and the Big Show. <laughs> well, that's the, that's this a is new, the new breed unleashed. It's unleashed. What the fuck is bro? going on? 
it's unleashed. Come on. Bro. Oh man. Uh, and this is uh, ECW's Kurt Angle. Come on. Go, yeah, and ECW's Big Show. This whole and match came back. down to Randy Orton, Kurt Angle, <laughs> the Big edge, Show, Edge, big show, yeah. the new breed. If, I don't know what's going if, on. I mean, as if we didn't see this in the invasion, right? With Vince Dick and all the WWE guys. Exactly. And this is, I'm just <laughs> like, what exactly the fuck? Did, yeah. <laughs> this is going to work out great. This is going to be perfect. Paul Lee's like, RVD versus Rey Mysterio. Vince said, Big Show and Kurt <laughs> Angle and Randy Orton. <laughs> it's throw Edge in there, too. Yeah, so they, uh, cool. Then they cut backstage with Big Show celebrating in the ECW locker room with a beer. And He's of course, him. Big Show goes, ECW! <laughs> ECW! ECW! <laughs> That's all they did the whole Justin Incredible gets got so into here. this. This is like, this is like yeah. Justin Incredible's moment. He's like, yes. Yes. <laughs> cool guy. Uh, we get Tommy Dreamer versus Edge next. Um, Terry Funk Whatever. and Mick Foley are out there. Uh, yeah. Terry Funk somehow looks better than Tommy Dreamer when he's 165 years old, so that's <laughs> that's nice. There was a um, table spot in this that Edge almost fucking dies on. Yeah, um, Dreamer just dumped him on his head. That was nice. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go kill the fucking guy. So uh, I would have rather seen Terry Funk versus Edge, but whatever. That's True. a it's, you know miscalculation. That I mean, I feel like the tag match, the tag match at One Night Stand makes up for this shit. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Tag match um, makes up for this shit. <laughs> fuck man edge is just i watched that spot like a hundred times where dreamer dumps him off the top rope and like i don't know what was going on there edge took like a ibushi bump and just like you can yeah. see his spine like compress as yeah. he just oh my god and then brutal. dreamer says all right you're taking it here's this piccoli driver through the table <laughs> dude wouldn't that suck if that was like oh that's like edge's what if career, that ended Tommy his dreamer. career yeah what if oh that was god. like yeah wow that would have been just before his fucking like world like WWE title push, oh my god! Shit. And then yeah, the he Dreamer hits the fucking Death Valley through the table, and like this dude can't even do a good Death Valley, man. What? I like, <laughs> come on, dude. Can we get? Can we talk about Joey Styles? Tommy Dreamer invented the Death Valley Driver at ECW. He invented he hardcore said? wrestling in ECW. Yeah, that's what he said. There's no way. Fucking Joey Dreamer Styles. named it after a guy that he took it from. <laughs> Joey Louis Styles Piccoli. was just going on. You you just copied everything that ECW did. Tommy the person Dreamer that created it. <laughs> the person that created yeah. it is a Joshi. So I don't even want no, to hear I'm that. saying, but I'm saying I didn't say not from the person created. The person he took it from was in ECW too, though. Louis Spicoli it did the Spicoli driver, and that's where Dreamer got it from. Everybody stealing Joey Styles everything. Was just going on about it. He this is this started out in ECW. Shut up. Uh, so Edge uh, wins. Lita gets involved. Tommy Dreamer gets his face in her snatch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I swear they did the. Didn't they do the snatch spear before? Uh, they do it at one night stand where yeah, okay. uh, Edge fucks. Bula Dude, he's straight up fucking whatever. raw dogs, Bulet. One night stand. Yeah. <laughs> Shit's it's crazy. Like, Orton could have watched it. It was too hardcore. <laughs> shit was crazy, man. Um, so we cut to the outside of the ring. Terry Funk literally grabs <laughs> Foley by his head and then shoot punches him until he starts bleeding. <laughs> well, Not to Funk mention that he's got barbed wire wrapped around his neck, too. Yeah, I think was it Funk that wrapped it around Foley or was it the other way? Foley wrapped it around. Funk had it wrapped around Terry, his neck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Foley wrapped and, it. yeah Funk is like straight up punching him in the fucking eye and you know they were like all right well we can't play it hard way me for this fucking promo <laughs> funk wasn't gonna say no so he does it he just all right cool. they don't and they and, get the best camera angle on it too dude oh it's so and it looks fucking in the so foley does this like in-ring promo after he's like uh he's sitting on a chair like spotlight on him and like it's like perfect this fucking cut on his face like it surely sucked but like and so, then this fucking promo is so good dude I, I want to okay. ask you what was what was Edge doing while Foley was getting punched in the head? Edge was nowhere to be found as Foley was, was getting he was Dream hitting, Valley through the table, bro. Trying to make sure that Lita didn't want uh, to leave him for Tommy Dreamer after that <laughs> <laughs> spot. Do a fuck about Mick Foley? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so Foley after this has a sit down promo. Um, he talks about not being a WWE whore. He's very much not so ninety five cat Jack at this point. I thought it was kind of like a. Uh, rehash of the ECW one that he did. Compare it to the rest of the show, makes the best promo on the whole fucking product. Absolutely. Compare it to anything like, else. Yeah, like, he stood out in terms of everything else in, uh, for me for the show. Um, yeah. So after Foley does that, they have Taz and Jerry Lawler and they're Jesus. fighting, I think, or whatever. Again, I don't bro. know. Yeah, just leave this alone for everyone. They're just arguing and then like, he's like, you want to fight? So Lawler like 
goes around the table, stances up, and Joey's like, "You're not, you're not gonna sit there, are you?" <laughs> He's like, "No balls, no balls." <laughs> yeah. <it> was... <laughs> and Taz gets up and fucking they throw punches at each other, get into a scrap, go on the table. Jerry or uh, Jr. and Joey Styles are like, Jr. is trying to break it up, and Joey Styles, no, let him go, let him go. <laughs> he knocks off Jr.'s hat. <laughs> Just all right, cool. Yeah, that's some weird shit. Um, and then we get to the main event, man. John Cena and Sabu. What do you guys think of this? Yes, uh, it was fine. Uh, I liked their pay per view match more. As I as I said, I I think this was just a, more of a like a TV fucking match. They let Sabu honestly. It was still. I mean, I still liked it though. They let Sabu do a lot of fucking shit here. Like get all his. Shit oh yeah, they here. definitely yeah, let triple him. jump. Yeah, the triple jump. They did the you know the the fucking plancha, the air Sabu. He got all his shit in. Like it was. You know, decent enough. Um, and then so they get to the finish. Uh, Cena locks in the shut the fuck up. The SDFU. Uh, and I'm like, no, I was like, whoa, they're gonna have. I, I I didn't remember. I was like, whoa, they're gonna fucking have Sabu tap. And I'm like, no, this is gonna be a run, isn't it? And sure enough, we <laughs> like, yeah. big show. And he just clobbers Cena in the back. <laughs> Says fuck you. <laughs> and uh, they just uh, start brawling. Here comes all the WWE guys. Here comes the ECW guys. Big schmas. To end the show to uh, get us towards. Like, I feel like they ran out of time because usually I feel like ECW guys were supposed to stand tall here and they just ran out of time and went away. And that's the show ended with uh, ECW and WWE fighting for brand supremacy still, even though ECW won the brand supremacy match. <laughs> uh, Cena does. Cena, so when he locks in the STFU, he does this a lot actually, um, especially around this period. I think he got better at it, but he would all like John Cena His stuff would. Placement? Well, he would. Yeah, that always sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but and the way that he opened up his mouth real wide every time he did it, but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Bug eyed, wide mouth. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, but the way that like he has to like maneuver Sabu so he can not see Big Show coming to the ring was so oh, painfully yeah. obvious. Just, yeah, he's blatantly yeah, yeah. drags him and turns him around to the other side so he's not looking yeah. at the ramp. It wasn't a hard just... cam shot. It was like towards the announcers. Yeah. It was. Yeah. The way they do the camera angles too gives it yeah, away as well. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, that was real cheesy. But I will say I did enjoy the main event. I thought it was pretty dope. I thought it was yeah, cool it was that cool. Cena bumped like crazy for Sabu. At this point, Cena was still, yeah. uh, he wasn't bulletproof. So, like, it was cool to see Absolutely. Sabu. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, yeah. if, you, if you haven't seen the Cena-Sabu pay-per-view match, that's, go Vengeance. see it. It's, it's very it. fun. Very fun match. Um, also, Jerry Lawler says on commentary during this match, I have had girls hit me harder than you, Taz. And Taz said, <laughs> yeah, I bet you have. Seniors in high school. <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah, damn, that bro. Was, uh, I missed that one. They were yelling shit. back and forth so I, yeah, much. I, like, yeah, I feel like I tried to tune them out at one point. Yeah, Taz hit him with the, and then Jerry didn't say anything. That was it. Uh, and then Taz, Taz goes, uh, "All right, so anyways." <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I'm yeah. surprised how big, uh, how important they made the big show during this whole thing that he wasn't at one night stand. Well, he's really a he? new breed unleashed, of course. True. That was a uh, Vince thing. Big Show was. Is Big Show on the pay per view? I don't think he is. He's right? Not yeah, at all. Yeah. No. I don't even think they even feature him. Do they? Maybe, maybe show a video. Boy, package. He's, a, he's a big feature for the sci-fi show. The right? new breed unleashed. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Dude, I'll never this forget probably, that fucking uh, that shot when Big Show wins the ECW title and like he it's in Philly and so, someone from the crowd fucking smashes him in the head <laughs> with a soda can. <laughs> and, like, he does the fucking thing too. Big Show, you make piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> Shit's awesome. Yeah, the um, this is probably what yeah, this is the before they even got on Sci-Fi, but this is probably one of the best WWE ECW episodes. <laughs> it was fun, man. Like the presentation. Like I wish, I wish they gave as much of a shit as they did about this show as they. Did <laughs> yeah, this is shows. one of the best, <laughs> probably. Like, yeah, it's like it all. It's few and far between after this one, and yeah. this. Yeah, they could have definitely let uh. Man, if they really wanted to like do some women's stuff, like ECW would have been the place to do it, you know? I mean, we obviously yeah. know they went into the extreme expose and Kelly Kelly and uh Tess Mocker and stuff, but they could have definitely let yeah. Jazz go crazy on the show. Jazz and Mickey could have gone crazy on ECW. Yeah. Yeah, um, of course, but fuck that. I don't I don't know if Paul Lee was. I know up Heyman wanted but... Heyman wanted Beth Phoenix, I'm pretty sure. Oh, did he? Nice. Yeah. Um, well, whatever he wanted didn't matter once they got to sci-fi. So. Nope. Yeah, pretty much. Not at all. Didn't give a fuck. <laughs> I think he like he just left. I think he left the company after that, right? I think. Yeah, he I, made, think, uh, I think December December was the last thing he did, and then he left. Yeah, he said, fuck yeah, I think this. he like quit at December December, if I remember right. Get me out of here. That's the show where Big Show loses the title, and the last thing I'm pretty sure he does on TV was the crying promo that he cuts of Big Show like losing the belt, and after that he's gone. 
Yep. Damn. So, um, good show. I actually wasn't bad. It was fun. Um, and it, it was, was yeah. And like I said, Kurt Angle was uh, awesome. This God. was like I said, he leaves in September and or he leaves in August. In September, he signs with TNA and confronts Samoa Joe and like. So yeah, and then it's history. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Cool stuff. Probably one of the best wrestling I mean, moments of all time. With, you're starting with Ray and RVD. I mean, you're gonna have a good show. Yeah, that was a hot dude. Way to start. If they would have just let Paulie book the fucking show with the dudes, it would have been fine. Like, yeah. you're telling, like, look at the One Night Stand 2005 and the and the people he booked for the show and tell me that they couldn't have done something. You know what I mean? Well, wasn't the original idea, I feel like, I don't, I don't know if Shane was involved in this or something, like, I feel like one of the original ideas was ECW was going to be like a, like an internet product. Yeah, that's well, what that was Shane Shane's wanted. original idea. Yeah, and yeah. don't fucking, don't sci-fi bullshit or any network bullshit, just do ECW on WWE.com and let, you know, Paulie do his shit. Mm-hmm. Mm. That would have been way better, I'm sure. I mean, or it would have been better than this, what it turned out to be, I'm sure, at least in some capacity. At least Even we got they the zombie. They would have axed it after five fucking weeks. Yeah, the zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Sandman that, beat that, the fuck out of that dude. Oh, my God. They also had the alien, <laughs> Chris Statlander. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Big man. Dick Johnson. Yeah, the zombie got that ass eight. That was tough, man. Yeah. That kendo stick. Ooh. Hey, God. Whew. Ooh. Yeah, Anyways. Yeah. 